Hi everyone, we discovered an amazing software that could help you improve your pharmacology in dental exams. And it is free to use. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it is and how to step by step how to download it. And medical students use it a lot like uh, it's, it's really well known among medical students. So I'm going to introduce you to that software. And we created our pharmacology decks for that software so that you could benefit from that. And it's all free. And honestly, it's kind of silly not to give it a try since it's all free. And if you have an exam, you should try this. Okay. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, then you have nothing to lose. You want to go to scholarsdental.com. So the website scholars dental, let me kind of start fresh here so that you get a start from the beginning. I show you one by one and you know, I'm assuming you're not, a, you're not a member. So you're logged out like this. So you want to go to our members page here, main free members, you click on it. Now you just have to have a login to get in there. So, uh, just sign up. It's really easy. Put an email and password. That's all you need. It doesn't ask about your name or your number or anything else. Okay. So you put this, you sign up. I'm going to log in with that. Okay. Log in. Great. Now it's going to take me, I think to that page because I already clicked on it. Yep. There you go. So you're on this members page. Again, it's free. There's two things. First, you need the software itself, which is called Anki. Uh, also I've heard it pronounced Anki. So whatever Anki. You click on it and it's going to take you to Anki.com, the app area, and make sure you download the actual app. So you're going to go download here. It's going to take you to which version you have to download based on your operating system. So you click, for example, there. All right, great. And you know, I already have a bunch here downloaded. So once you click on it, it's going to ask you, do you want to install or not? And you're going to go, yes, sure. Uh, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. Okay. So that's step one. Now you have the software on your computer. The next step is go back to scholars dental, the members page, and then go download the scholars dental pharma Anki Dex, uh, version 1.0. And that will be downloaded in a RAR file. Okay. Make sure you get this from the website to make sure you have the original copy. You don't want to, uh, you know, grab it from a friend and then discover it's messed up around with, or, you know, there's something incorrect about it or something wrong. So make sure you download this. Um, and even if you find any mistakes about it, let us know. We'll always keep updating it. Okay. So now I have it here on my desktop. Okay. This raw fire file and I extracted it to here. So it's inside this folder. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open Anki. Okay. So I'm going to go and look for Anki here on my desktop. It should be on my desktop somewhere. Okay. Here it is. So I'm going to double click and open it and think you're probably going to see it here. Let's see. Okay. So you can see the software actually you see it, guys. So I'm going to keep the website in the background there and I'm going to take the software and let me just adjust it here, make it a little bit smaller so you can see it. So, okay. There you go. So this is Anki. You see how it looks like now when you start, it might ask you to sign in or make a profile. Sure. Mine is here says Ahmed Hafez. Um, and you can see here, you have no decks inside the Anki. So the software, uh, the way it works is basically, as, as I mentioned, there's going to be decks and cards, you answer them and then you evaluate, was it difficult? Was it easy or was it average? And then it has an algorithm. So the things that are difficult, it will repeat faster or more. And the things that are easy for you, it'll spread them out over time so that you don't get them frequently, you get them less. So it, it works on your weakness so that you memorize everything evenly. Really amazing concept, right? Um, I usually do that with our scholars, AFK students. Uh, that's what we talk about that. You want to space out your readings and focus on, focus on what you forget, but this software is doing it for you to, to help you know what you forget. Okay. So this is the software again, uh, nothing, in it. So what you want to do is you want to import the scholars pharma decks. Okay. So you're just going to go file. Okay. It's going to open like a little menu here. I guess you can't see it. Um, let me see if I could make it so that it's better there. Okay. Let me actually take it to, if I make this window a bit smaller, Oh, there you go. You can see it here. So I know there's two of them. One of them is just but don't worry about it too much. There you go. So when you click on it, it's going to say file and you're going to go to import. Okay. All right. So now you have import. So you want to uh, import the correct 
Anki. So the one you we downloaded. Now I think it's called this one. Okay, don't worry, I have a bunch of them. And maybe I'll just hide this one so it's not distracting you. Okay, so I'm going to go, okay, import. There you go. Sure, close. Now you have the decks in there. So you see, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here. Okay. So you can see here, it says you have the Scholars Dental Pharma Name Practice Decks. Actually, I'm going to make this appear again here so that's a, a little bit more clear for you. And I'm going to hide this one over here. Okay. I know it's a little bit, but I'm trying to show you multiple things. Now you have the decks in, in the in the Anki. You have our decks, right? Awesome. So you click on it and you can see here it says studied zero cards in zero seconds and you have 20. So you haven't studied anything yet. The first thing before you click on it, I want you to do one thing to make things better. Okay. You see this little button here. It's the settings button right here. So click on that and you'll get four options. Rename, options, export, delete. I know you don't see it, but you're going to get that. Go to options. Okay. So now when you get options, Actually, I'm going to have to do this again. Just bring this back here and bring the Anki back to this side so that you can see it, unfortunately. Sorry. So I'm just trying to make sure you guys can see everything here. Okay. So here you go. You click on the settings. You get options. And now you're going to get this window, you see. So what I want you to do is these are the default settings for this software. Don't change anything. I just want you to change one thing. Go to order. Okay, you're going to see a little button here that says order and make it random. So show new cards in random order. Okay, that's it. That's all you have to change. Okay. Uh, okay, so you can see that. So I did that. Now I went to okay. Now you can see the settings. For example, it's going to give you 20 new cards a day. Um, and it's basically the easy means every four days will repeat the card. So, you know, I, I don't want to mess around these settings. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But if you become really good at using Anki and you want to check things out and learn more, there's so many tutorials online as well. So now we're done. I'm going to go OK. So now it's going to show me randomized uh, cards. So now I'm going to go back here and just reveal it here again. There you go. All right. OK, so let's let's study one session together or maybe not a full session but we'll see how it goes okay so now you're going to click on the decks so you can see how it says the scholars dental pharma decks uh new 20 so today's 20 there's 20 new cards today well, how many am i learning and how many do i need to review don't overthink it just click study now what you the, the whole f uh, concept is, is that every day you go here and you click study now until and you keep doing it until the program tells you you're done okay for that day and it might take you like a few minutes so let's go to study now so look you see here and this is our pharma name review so we're providing this for our students mainly and also you get anyone could get free access to it so the concept in this dex is that we want to check if you could figure out what the classification of the drug is okay so the first one that came out is methyl dopa okay so what is methyl dopa right? You, you want to answer this. That's what I want from you or from our students. So if, if you want to, you know, join and, and do this uh, along with us, or if you want to download it and do it too, it's going to be beneficial. So methyl dopa, um, well, I already know what it is. It's an alpha two agonist. So I'm going to go show answer now. Okay. You guys can see that. So show answer. Okay. It's an alpha two agonist. I got it right. So now you can see here on the bottom, there's three options. Do I want this to appear again right now in this session? Do I want, am I good at it or is it easy? So if I click again, what happens is it'll show it in less than one minute. So once I go through other cards, it'll pop out again. So that in the same session, you're reviewing it. If I say good, it'll show it to me within less than 10 minutes. So if I'm still reviewing, it'll pop out. If I say easy, it'll keep it away for four days. So you won't see it for another four days in your review. Okay. So let's say, uh, and you, you may repeat things during one session. So let's say I say it's good. Okay. Now I have Cephalochlor. It's a Cephalosporin. Okay. Let's say that was easy. Gen two. I'm going to click easy for that one. Triamkinolone steroid, right? Okay. I'm going to say that one is again, I want to, I want to see that one again. I'm not sure. A cyclovir is an antiviral. 
uh, used in HSV and, and varicella zoster. Let's say that was easy. So you're going to keep doing this, okay? Uh, you're going to keep testing yourself. So you can see I'm just going to keep clicking things here to show you how, how it appears, right? So you can see it's starting to collect information, right? Now, you see these numbers? These change the next day because if you've seen a card more than once, let's say this is the second time you, you got this drug or this card, the program knows that this is the second time you see it and now you put it as good again or as... So based on so many steps that you take for each card, it will organize which ones you need to see more and which ones you need to see less so that it evens out everything, right? So you, you kind of memorize everything equally. Okay, so let's say this is good. Show answer. This is good. Show answer. Easy. Show, you know, let's say, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm just randomizing some things. Eventually, if, you, if everything becomes easy during that study session, you can see the rest, this red number is eight. So it's getting le less. I'm learning eight. Okay, show answer. Right, so again, if you keep going, let's just say uh, easy, easy, show answer, easy. You can see it says, oh, five left. Maybe this one is good. This one is easy. This one is good. Eventually, it will stop you. See how it's done? saying congratulations you finished this deck for now you're done for now so now it, you stop you don't study more than that and then the next day at 12 a.m um it will re reset okay it'll give you another 20 cards okay so you could go back to decks and you'll see that it says oh i studied 31 cards in three minutes um so i can't even study it again so i have to wait until it be it's uh you know it goes past 12 a.m so that i could study it again um, so that is it. I hope that was beneficial. Um, try to use this. See if it improves your studying. We, we, I created um, almost 180 cards here for you to, to use. Um, uh, quite less, maybe 170. Basically, you go through all these drugs. And if you keep repeating this, it's gonna, you're, you're just going to get better at it. All right. Um, let me see if I could. Oops. Okay. All right. So that is it for the Anki. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other notes. Um, so for our students, if you're a, a scholar student, you could get this just going from our, uh, just going to the, to the September, to the AFK course page. You'll find it there as well. Okay. Let's see if this cool down here. Okay. All right, I'm back. Okay, so it was just uh, the camera just got heated up and now. Okay, so awesome. Uh, that is it for the Anki. I'm trying to think if there's any questions. I, there's so much settings here that you could play around with. Uh, and you could, you know, look up tutorials if you want to become an expert. Honestly, I gave you the bare minimum that you need to get started. The only thing I'll change is that random file thing that I told you about uh, here when you go to options. Uh, and you just make it that it's in random order. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, other than that, I think everything else just leave the same. Do it every day until it tells you to stop and you'll become very good at knowing what drug name belongs to what um, family or classification. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, now, if so again, for our students, I'm going to close the Anki here. I'm just going to show you for our students, you could go to... Uh, members and if you go to september i think i'm not allowed in there right now because i need to basically log in with my other email so i want to show this to our students as well okay never mind so i'm just going to live basically you could find it within uh the september and the second box video guys uh, if you want to download it from there all right, so that it is it. I hope that was beneficial and you, uh, you know, you got the point of that. Honestly, no reason not to try it and and use the decks that we made for you in the Anki program. And you could learn how to make your own as well. Just create your own flashcards. The whole concept is about repeating the things that you find difficult, which is a strategy I focused on so all the time within our courses. But now, you know, there's a software that medical students are using and using all the time to memorize all their information. OK, so that is it, guys. That's how to use Anki and download it. That's the free tool. Uh, and you could get it from basically the decks you get from the website. 
Um, again, if you want a basic science course, you can't take the whole course. You just want to try a little bit. You could take our basic science course on Udemy. We'll leave a link down below and you could order our basic science book from Amazon. So to see more videos like this, please subscribe and, and like the video if you, if you want to, to you know, get notifications when we make these. And that's all, guys. Okay, have a good day. And, you know, I'll see you in the next one.